In lesson two, we're going to continue learning about the word interface. In this lesson, we're going to take a closer look at the ribbon. Now, sprawling across the top of the word window is the ribbon. The ribbon is Microsoft's new menuing system that was added in Office 2007. The ribbon makes it much easier to find commonly used commands than the old pull-down menu system of previous versions of Microsoft Word. The ribbon is grouped into different tabs. Here's the Home tab, the Insert tab, the Page Layout tab, and so on. You can change the tab that you're on by clicking on the word here, Mailings, Review, View, and so on. These are the different tabs. The tab that you're on might automatically change based on what you're doing. For example, if you insert a picture, the Picture tab will pop up. Each tab is further organized into groups. For example, on the Home tab, you'll find a clipboard group, a font group, a paragraph group, and a styles group. These groups are to better organize the different buttons and commands that you find on each ribbon tab. For example, all the paragraph editing buttons and commands are together in the paragraph group. All the font editing command buttons are in the font group. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the lesson, there are tons of different commands in these groups. We're going to talk about some of them today, but don't worry if you don't understand what all of them are. If you hover over one of the buttons, a little pop-up menu appears and shows you what that button does. For example, this button here is to grow the font. This button here is to change the shading, color the background behind the selected text or paragraph. And you can press F1 on your keyboard for more help. Most of the commands on the ribbon are simple push buttons, also called command buttons. For example, to center the text, you simply click on that button. To left align, you simply click on that button. Some of the commands are drop-down menus. For example, to change the font, you click on this little down arrow here, and that opens up a drop-down menu. You can then click to change the font. I'll simply click on the button again to pull the menu back up. Some of the command buttons are called command button groups, where you actually have more options. See the little down arrow there next to underline? If you click on that, you have different kinds of underlines available. A solid line, two lines, a thick line, and so on. So some of the buttons have extra options next to them. Some of the commands actually show up as galleries. For example, here in the styles group, you see the style galleries. It's essentially a small preview of what that style looks like. And we'll talk more about styles in a future lesson. Again, don't let all of these different commands confuse you. I'm just taking a minute to show you all the different types of buttons you'll find on the ribbon. We'll go over each button in turn as we get to it. One very small detail to notice is that some of these groups have little tiny buttons here in the bottom right corner. That's to launch a dialog box for that group. For example, if I click here, this will open up the font dialog box. The dialog box is simply a menu that has many more font options on it. And if you've used previous versions of Microsoft Word, you'll recognize this font dialog box. I'll go ahead and close this box by clicking on the X.